only one question remains to be answered. Is it possible, in spite of this deformity, to bring the first metatarsal and big toe down to the ground, to make the inside of the foot weight-bearing, to balance the foot? The answer is yes, and it's as simple to demonstrate as the problem itself. All you need to do is to curl your toes under, just like you do when picking up a towel from the floor with your feet. When you do this exercise, you should feel your arches rise. Doing this exercise puts Mr. Big back to work again, so instead of your feet being unstable like on ice skates, they're stable like on tripods. Doing this exercise with every step would be unnatural and difficult, but our insoles puts it on automatic, so you don't have to do anything or even think about it. Here's the injury connection. You've heard the saying, when your feet hurt, you hurt all over. That's not an accidental one-liner. It is the truth, and there is a particular reason. Your feet hurt when they're not properly supporting your body. You get pressure hot spots and shear forces that give you pain and calluses. But because this foot condition destabilizes the whole body posture, compensation and muscle overuse sets in. Imagine yourself on ice skates. Every muscle is working overtime just to maintain your balance. This is, of course, an exaggeration, but you get the point. The posture changes that originates from the feet are dramatic and harmful. The elevated first metatarsal causes the arch to collapse, and when it does, the legs become internally rotated. This is common knowledge by anyone who understands the biomechanics of the body. The internal rotation of the legs forces the hips to rotate forward. This leads to a forward tilt and rotation of the upper body, protracted shoulders, internally rotated arms, and the head shifts forward on the spine. This is commonly referred to as a head forward posture, and if you look around, most people have it to various degrees. The imbalance between the left and right foot causes a functional leg length discrepancy, so if you also look at the body from the front or back, you will see the hips and shoulders being unlevel. Even if you try to maintain an erect posture, your feet will not support you and with age, your posture will collapse. Why does this happen? Well, you've heard the song, Dem Bones, toe bones connected to the foot bone, etc. The joints are tightly connected with ligaments, so distortions will transmit through every joint like gears. But there is one more thing. You always hear podiatrists saying the feet were not built for shoes. True, but equally true, they were not built for exclusively walking on flat surfaces. The combination of the foot instability and flat surfaces force the joints into the same distorted position with every step. Depending on your work and lifestyle, you may make from 5,000 to 10,000 steps each day. This is exactly the condition for repetitive motion injuries. Who would have guessed? Walking in our modern world causes repetition motion injuries like premature arthritis of the knee, low back pain, sciatica, and dozens more serious complications all the way to migraine headaches. 90% of the solution is to enumerate the problem, and here it is. We have successfully connected musculoskeletal injuries to improperly supported feet, but don't run out and purchase arch support. For most people, these devices provide little or no help and may actually, through compensation, make your problems worse or create new problems over time. You've already demonstrated this solution to yourself by bringing your first metatarsal and big toe down to the ground without your knees distorting. Next, I will explain to you how we can make that happen automatically without you having to give it the slightest thought. Proprioception is the miracle that allows us to function, to stand, walk, and to do things. Proprioception relies on sensory input that is processed by the brain and translated into muscle action. This is a continuous cycle that can be conscious or subconscious. As most people have experienced, a tiny pebble in the shoe is enough to buckle the knee. By deliberately changing what the feet feel, we can change the timing of the muscle action. In essence, what we do is to restore the missing signals. 
We do it by placing a small wedge underneath the first metatarsal. The small wedge causes the first metatarsal to feel the ground slightly sooner, and when that happens, the brain does what it always does. It orders the muscles to push back against the ground, making the first metatarsal pick up full weight bearing to stabilize the foot and the body. The small wedge is not a support. It does not raise the first metatarsal. It just puts the exercise you did a few minutes ago on automatic. An ounce of prevention, literally, that changes the timing of muscle activation and stabilizes your postural foundation. Restoring the postural signals from the feet impact all the sensors through the body. Because this impacts the neuromuscular system directly, posture immediately starts improving and pain starts subsiding. If the insoles are used on a regular basis, posture continues to improve, resulting in less muscle and joint strain. In effect, the bullets are emptied from the gun as latent problems vanish. Natural body balance stimulates your neuromuscular system to restore the natural proprioceptive cycle between the ground, your feet, and your brain. Because musculoskeletal dysfunction is not an exclusively work-related problem, the correction needs to be worn both at work and at home. Work health and personal health is one and the same and needs to be addressed at all times. It is not like a back belt, hard hat, or a protective device. This is a dynamic system that has body-wide implications, and for many, it is actually life-changing. Prokinetics insoles can be customized to the individual need by adding kinetic technology. Simple instructions tell you when to add the additional orange wedge. It is positioned with an interlock and glued down with two dabs of adhesive. It's all included and takes just a minute or two. With this technology, most people are surprised to discover that arch supports are not needed, so they're removable. Easy to follow instructions make prokinetics insoles simple to customize. In this high-tech world, people are often impressed by flashy, complex solutions. How about a sophisticated solution instead that links directly to the root cause, brings immediate results, works for over 80% of your workforce, and is inexpensive. There's a prokinetics for every kind of boot and shoe. The original ultra-thin version is very versatile because it's only two millimeters thick, so it fits in virtually any shoe, including casual shoes and wingtips. If you're a woman in heels, the sole mates are perfect. Stick them to the feet or to the shoes, and you're set for a day of comfort. No more ball of foot pain. For hot climates, use sole mates in sandals or open toe shoes or even flip-flops. You may have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on anti-fatigue mats, ergonomic workstations and equipment. So you may have a hard time believing that a $60 insole could be the fix you need. Prokinetics isn't a silver bullet, but for just a few dollars you can prove the benefits to yourself. Tens of thousands of people already have. So there, 90% of the work is done. Your 10% is as easy as picking up the phone and dialing 888-790-4100, where you'll always find a real person behind the electronic receptionist. Insurance claims, lost and replacement labor amount to real costs, and musculoskeletal pain is responsible for most of it. This chart shows you every area where Prokinetics Natural Body Balance can help you put a check on your expenses.